Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. All right, guys, so today we're doing an unboxing video of the Freenove um, Raspberry Pi Starter Kit. It's the, the ultimate starter kit for Raspberry Pi, and it includes a bunch of electronic components if you want to get started with Raspberry Pi. So it has a lot of really neat stuff. Um, before even taking the shrink wrap off, we can see we have like resistors and, and like stepper motors and all sorts of LEDs and little jumper cables and all sorts of neat stuff in here. I picked this up on Amazon, so um, if you check the link in the description, I'll, I should have a link over to the, prod, to the product and a lot of other details about it too. So link in the description. Definitely check the link in the description. And um, now let's get this thing opened now up. Now it's open. All right, let's see what's inside here. This comes with a ton of stuff, and it's, it's gonna be loads of fun to play with. But let's see what we actually get here. Let's open this up and uh, all right, so look at that. First thing we notice it comes with this little this little color code chart for resistors, um, which is pretty neat. Um, actually, yeah, this is, that's, that's upside down just because I have the camera like facing me. So, I mean, even the screen is actually, the screen I'm looking at is upside, itself is upside down. So, um, so, sorry guys, just the way it, the, I have the camera placed basically vertically and um, the screen is tilted towards me so I can see it. I can see what's on camera, but um, yeah, and that's just some paper. I can see what's on camera, but I, I can't, it, it's, it's upside down to me. Anyways, look at this. Comes with this neat little touch pad and a little thing you can connect up to your Raspberry Pi. So, little ribbon cable there, so a nice little thing. I mean, just all sorts of extra stuff I wouldn't have thought of. You could do just about any beginner project you would want. Um, comes with this nice little baggie filled with LEDs and a little, has some switches and um, we need some green LEDs, blue LEDs, red LEDs, um, some buttons and other nice things. Um, comes with a, a bunch of jumper cables, um, so uh, that that's pretty nice too. These piece. Yep. Um, what else comes in this kit? Yep, comes with a little battery pack, so you can power your Pi by battery or whatever else. Um, comes with this. I'm I'm not sure what this is off offhand. I didn't go through the contents of what to expect in this kit ahead of time, but um, comes with this little this little board here. Um, I'm sure that's going to be loads of fun. Comes with this IDE cable, which I, I guess is useful. That probably fits the pins on the Raspberry Pi. I remember those from the, the, the good old days when we would install um, hard drives. And some more jumper cables. Um, look at this. We have these little... Um, honestly, I'm going to have to take pictures of this and put it in the... I'm going to do a write-up of this afterwards, so check the link in the description. I'm going to identify what this is. I'm, I'm terrible at identifying these components, so I'm kind of learning as I go. But, um, yep. We've got three of these things, so my, my electronics knowledge is limited. But, um, I mean, I know some of the basics, but I'm, I'm coming along here. Anyways, I um, have this uh, little... This thing could go into... Uh, I guess stick into a, a breadboard or whatever, and I guess it just extends. I I'm not I'm honestly not sure why what the use case is for that. And um, here's another interesting thing. Um, yep, we have a, a nine volt battery plug, and uh, this thing could power. You could power something off a of nine. This is like uh, wow, that that's actually really useful looking. Um, yep, we have so really. I already have a bigger breadboard from back when I was in school, but um, it comes with this breadboard, um, which is pretty useful for testing things out and prototyping things. comes with this little thing. I'm honestly not sure what this is for off the top of my head, but um, I mean, it has a bunch of pins and stuff. I have not gone through what everything in this kit is. Um, obviously, this comes off. It's just packaged this way. You have a USB plug, a power plug, a little switch. Um, some useful things. And uh, maybe we have some a little LED display there, another LED display. Um, I'm not sure what this this is here, but um, it gives you it indicates what those pins are, anyways. So, which will be useful when we're soldering it later. This looks like an, an array of um, LEDs, as far as I can tell. We have a, a few um, few chips here, which um, I have yet to identify. 
Um, we have this little, this looks like a speaker or a microphone, I'm not sure. Please remove seal after washing. I'm not sure what these are, but yeah, just tons of little components. Um, Raspberry Pi GPIO extension board. Okay, so we got an extension board, something I did not know even existed. Um, so it comes with all of this stuff. Um, comes with the breadboard. Apparently breadboards are supposed to be finicky. I had never realized that about them. We used to put together little test um, circuits on our breadboards all the time when we were learning digital logic back in school. But um, let me see another um, as of yet. All right, this, this looks like a motion detector. So um, kind of like what goes on, like when you walk into a room and the light goes on automatically. So um, that's what this looks like and here's what the bottom of it looks like. Um, I'm not going to take that out of the, I should take this out of the plastic wrap, right? I should definitely take that out. Um, let's take a look at that close up so the camera can see it and um, yeah, look at that. There we go. So I'm going to carefully just stick that back in here, not that it matters too, too much. All right, what else do we have? We have some other really interesting things in here. So um, let's take this out. Um, we have these little, these look like some kind of mounting brackets. I'm not sure what for. No, there's something else. These are meant to fit onto this thing right here. Okay, this is a power. Okay, this is a micro servo. So this is a really, um, yeah, Tower Pro. Tower Pro, let's see if I can get a good shot of that on the, get the catch the light correctly. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's just reflecting the light. All right, anyways, I don't know if you can see this on the camera. I can't tell that well from the screen I'm looking at. But yeah, it's a Tower Pro micro servo. So this is a little servo motor, a tiny servo motor. And apparently it's supposed to connect to this and cause things to move. I'm not sure what you would use this one in particular for, but we will find out because we're gonna do projects with practically every single one of these components in here. So this is going to be interesting. Um, what else? I should probably take a picture of all of this stuff laid out like this. Yep, um, I'm not gonna lay every component out probably, but anyways, um, another thing, well, well, we'll get this, this, this thing has some interesting stuff in it, but we'll, we'll get to that. So it comes with a little LCD screen and um, some other stuff. This is what the back looks like. But little LCD screen that you could display things on. Um, this can stay, you know, we, we should be opening this stuff. It's an unboxing video. I would normally leave this in here until I need it. Not taking it out of the anti-static wrap, but you know, it's an unboxing video and we want to see what comes in the box. That's kind of the whole point of this video. Yeah, I'm not pulling, it has a little bit of wrap on it. I'm not taking that off. But yeah, this is the back, there's the front, and that's that. So um, yeah, I'm definitely putting it back in the anti-static wrap for the time being. Um, yeah, so another nice little toy. Um, what else do we have here? A ton more jumper cables, it looks like. And yep, excellent stuff. Um, more LEDs, um, some resistors, looks like either a capacitor or a, di a diode, um, looks like, I want to say that's a transistor, but I'm terrible at identifying things, like I said. We have some switches, multicolored, different colored LEDs. Um, we have these little buttons that I guess you would put on something. If you wanted to press buttons, that's, that's pretty neat. Um, and here we have some, some boards, some PCB that we could actually use for finished products. You could actually solder things onto. That, that is pretty neat. I did not realize that was in there. And here we have a pack, we have some packs of, uh, of resistors here. So look, look at that, we have a bunch of resistors that come in the pack. Um, that is, I, I honestly would have expected a whole lot more, like a huger variety, larger variety of resistors, but whatever. Uh, this, oh, um, one more thing in here. I do not know what this is, but um, we will be finding out later. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, yep, branded by the company that sells this kit. So um, definitely an excellent kit. It was not expensive, yeah. but um, I'm not, I, I, Probably not supposed to mention the exact price on the video, but you can check the link in the description. It'll bring you to the to the write-up I did on this product, and that will I will have a link to the actual product on Amazon. Now this um, will this is great if you're making a robot that can navigate 
So, but th this is basically like a proximity sensor as I understand it. You'll see these on like, this is like one of the most common things you see when people build Raspberry Pi robots. Um, yeah, so this, this is, I, I did kind of expect something like that in this kit. Um, but one of the more interesting things you can have. Look at this. This is a nice little servo motor. You can see it has, uh, it comes with a couple little inputs on here. And um, so it's not terribly complicated. And it has, uh, there's the little drive shaft on it. Do you see that? You see the little drive shaft on that little motor? It's like an engine. It's an engine. And uh, this is the one, uh, now this, this is pretty neat. I mean, kind of a superficial thing. I'm not using this yeah. for video games, but this is a little um, little joystick oh. module you could use if you're building like a, a little portable game system or something. Look at that, it feels nice too. Like that is, that's a, that feels like a high quality thing. There's the back of it. And um, yeah, that, that is pretty neat. Then yet another, uh, this is a stepper motor. So not a servo, I, I guess, unless that's like a type of servo. I, I don't know enough about servos or steppers. But uh, yeah, this is a stepper motor um, with a long cord on it. And that's, that's it, that's everything in the kit. That's the entire kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, thanks for watching. Um, give us a like if you liked the video. If you, guys found, if you guys found this interesting, give me a thumbs up, it helps out a lot. And um, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon if you want to see more icons like this, if you want to know when a new, a new video comes out. We're going to be producing a whole lot more content like this and a lot of other tech related content, but a lot of it's going to be electronics related. So um, yeah, if you, if you have a comment, if you have criticism, praise, whatever you want to say, leave a comment down below. We want to hear what you think, or I want to hear what you think.